Do you remember when we covered Miss Josephine Wright and how she was not going to allow this private developer to manipulate her out of her property? Well, some twists and turns happened. Um, however, the family won their legal battle. Let's put up the picture full mass. Um, the family of Josephine Wright, they have won the right to keep the land that has been in her family since the Civil War after the legal battle and harassment the great great grandmother endured at the hands of developers. We covered this from day one. Her story garnered worldwide media, as well as public support from celebrities, including Tyler Perry, Snoop Dogg, and others. The 94 year old Wright, whose mind was so sharp, oh my goodness, she had a sharp mind, who before her passing in January, spent the last years of her life fighting to keep her property in Hilton Head Island, which is located in the Geechee Gula corridor that is in South Carolina. Bailey Point Investment, that's the name of the company. We talked about this company when everything went down. The company that owns the land neighboring rights property sued the great great grandmother last year on claims of encroachment. The company is in the process of building a 29 acre subdivision around her property. Bailey Point Investment said that Wright's satellite dish shed and screened porch trespass on its land, which quote, significantly delayed and hindered development, the New York Times reported. Um, the settlement concluded that the Wright family owned the property that sits in the middle of Bailey Point Investments development. According to a family spokesperson, um, Al Tamiz Nicole, the settlement states that Bailey Point Investment must stop contacting the rights about acquiring their land, fix the roof of their home, and erect a private fence between the right property and the new development. The family is grateful to have settled. Nicole told South Carolina Public Radio, quote, they're focused on keeping the legacy of Mrs. Josephine Wright alive. In one of her last public appearances in 2023, Ms. Wright recounted her story when attending the Low Country Fish and Grits Music Festival on Hilton Head Island. Here it is. Five years ago, someone called me on the phone and asked me that I wanted to sell. I asked myself, well, what are you willing to pay? They said $39,000. I hung up the phone. <laughs> I could not believe that they would put such a minimal value on land that is historic. And when they decided to negotiate with someone else for my land, they came with me with a pretty big fee. And I told them, no. I said, I am not selling my property. So what happened was harassment started. We stopped the, the lawsuit because they illegally tried to serve us. That's right. And I went to the town hall meeting and I spoke about the harassment that was upon my house and me. And at that time, the Island Packer. Savannah News and CNN picked up the story. That's right. Yeah, right. And from then on, I think God walked in and said, we're going to help you. She kept that same energy throughout the entire ordeal, never backed down, never wavered. And at the end of the day, that property remains with the family. Ricky, thoughts? Yeah, I hope that it remains with the family. Uh, so for years, historically, yeah. uh, taking black folks land, uh, and, and then they came in with a measly $39,000, and then they made a big offer, and then she wouldn't do that. Then they went to the uh, measurements of harassing her and uh, just getting real crafty with trying to get her, trying to run her off pretty much. I just hope, uh, appreciate people like uh, Snoop Dogg, Tyler Perry, anybody that got involved or whatever to support her 
just where she could keep her land. And right. it's sad that uh, the years, uh, you think about areas in Florida, areas where they have lakes now, like Lake Lanier, uh-huh. uh, outside of Atlanta, where there was uh, that used to be land for black people, and they destroyed the land and put water over Lake Martin in Alabama, where they did the same. Um, it's a lot of uh, situations like that, but we need people like her to stand uh, to stand up where she could pass that on to the next generation. And just because no matter how much money they offer her for it, uh, whatever, she have the right to pass it off That's to right. the next gener- generation. You just can't take someone's land. So, That's right. Well said. Yeah. Very well said. 